Midway through the race is Lost Paddle, a half mile long rapid with three distinct drops. The second part is steep and powerful, and mistakes made here will be paid for with a very long and unpleasant swim. There's still no change in the leaders as the Czechs are first, followed by Germany. But they're under consistent pressure from the determined Italians, and the Russians are holding on to fourth place. The Slovakians managed to recover quickly from their spill at Pillar Rock and are holding on to sixth, with the Brazilians tagging closely behind. But they're a little far right at the top where a big lateral wave dumps the entire boat, setting them up for a very bad swim. Behind them is Costa Rica, followed closely by the Americans. The swimming Brazilian team washes up against a rock wall, and the team is split up with four of them holding onto the raft. There's no help coming from the Costa Ricans as they capitalize on the Brazilians' mistake. Back at the top of the rapid are the Czech ladies, still leading. They look a bit chaotic, and they lose a bow paddler on the left. They're followed closely by the Slovakians who are having a great race until they tangle with Japan and as a result get pushed into the house-sized boulder on River Right. The American ladies are in third. The Canadian ladies have capitalized on the Kiwis' mistake at Pillar Rock until they too get trounced by the same wave that flipped the Brazilians. Team Brazil has managed to reflip their raft only to have trouble in yet another large hole. And this rapid is turning into what can only be described as a nightmare. From their demeanor on the bank, we can see just how exhausted they are. And the Czech ladies get tangled with the Brazilians' empty boat. Out front, it's still the Czech men, followed by Germany, Italy, and Russia hanging on to fourth. The Canadian ladies are suffering a similar ordeal to that of the Brazilians at the bottom of the rapid, as people and equipment are strewn throughout. A safety raft picks up stragglers from both teams, providing much needed assistance. At the exit of Lost Paddle, the Czech ladies continue to lead, followed by Slovakia and the USA. We catch up with the overall race leaders at Iron Ring, a short but steep drop that has several pushy holes or recirculating waves that can easily flip these small rafts. That's the Czech Republic emerging from the fog, still in the lead, followed by Germany who is focused on staying ahead of the Italians. And the Russians are over in a crucial mistake. This may well change the order of teams just outside metal range as Team Canada paddles through the fog at the top of the rapid. These are the swimming Russians and they don't waste much time as they reflip their raft midstream. The women from the Czech Republic still lead at the top of Iron Ring. The Slovak ladies follow routinely in second with the Americans in third but they lose precious time when they clip one of the holes in Iron Ring and have a few swimmers. Their slow recovery definitely won't help them put pressure on the Slovakians. The Kiwis are looking good in fourth place, and we'll see if they can catch the Americans. Team Indonesia brings up the rear, and they're forging ahead in what for them is very big whitewater. A long stretch of flat water leads to Sweets Falls, a river-wide shelf that drops 10 feet into some turbulent water. A flip at this stage would add 50 seconds to the overall time as the finish line is just downstream where you can see the red buoy. All paddlers must be in the boat to avoid the penalty. The Czech men were in ninth place going into the down river and they've pulled it together for this race. They approach the finish line to an appreciative crowd after 56 minutes of continuous paddling. Because of how heavily the down river race is weighted in the point series, the Czech men by winning this race, now move up into third place overall, and they look deservedly ecstatic. The Germans stay consistent and finish second. They were leaders in the point series going into this race and are now the new world champions. Following Germany is the Italian team taking the bronze in the down river race and finishing second in the overall series. In fourth place, it's the Canadians who took advantage of Russia's flip in Iron Ring. Team Russia, last year's world champions, finished a disappointing fifth, followed by the Slovakian men who crossed the finish line in just a few seconds under an hour. Costa Rica is sixth. The Americans finish a disappointing seventh, driving their boat up onto the finish rock, which locals call postage due. 
Back upstream, we find the Czechs, still dominating the women's race. The Czech ladies have a world champion kayaker on their team, and all of them are top paddlers in their home country. They approach Sweets Falls, and this is a big day for the Czech Republic. It's an ecstatic Czech team that takes the women's downriver race, simultaneously becoming the new world champions. The Slovakian women are still looking strong, and they drop in next. But a big tube stand puts the entire team in the water, adding a 50 second penalty to their time. To add insult to injury, they flush left of postage due into Box Canyon, and this doesn't look pretty. This may allow the Americans who are currently in third place to move up. But the U.S. crosses the finish line 53 seconds after the Slovakians, which means that their swim upstream in Iron Ring cost them a silver medal by only three seconds. Japan also finds some excitement as they approach the finish line. The New Zealand team finishes fourth as the Gauley River shamelessly deals them their second swim of the day. Team Indonesia has heaps of support from shore as they approach Sweets Falls. And this valiant team finds itself in the water one last time.